So here we are guys uh, for another video. This time we're bringing uh, our rating from 1400 all the way to 1500. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to be using uh, some of the openings that I used for the last video. And I think today I'm going to introduce the bird opening. Now this is another opening that is not that popular, but it's pretty easy to learn. And if you know the main ideas, that's enough to get good games. So I'm going to start with the Vienna and the perk. And then the next time that I do the white pieces, I'm going to try the bird just for you to learn that one as well. So here we go. And we have the first game. Like I said, E4. And, oop, nope, Vienna. I almost made a mistake. So nice E3. Fianchero. If you saw the last video, um, you should know the main plans. If you haven't, uh, I'm leaving it in the description below. That way you can go back and take a look at the, at the main ideas. So. Knight g2 e2. Let me see if I can actually yeah, eliminate the sounds. And castle, no, actually, let me leave the sound on. Okay, so we know the drill, h3. And now I want to do f4. Mm, well, let me change one more thing here. Mm, 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 mm. Let Oh, it's not letting me. So I guess we're gonna hit save. So I wanted to do the activate the arrows, but it's not letting me. So I wasted some time there. It took me what 46 seconds. All right, he took typically we take with the with the pawn or the bishop or the knight. This time I'm gonna take with the knight just to hit that bishop. Um okay, time to eliminate the bishop. And now that we have this in place, I like to have this uh pattern here. All right, can we bring the knight over? Not yet. Let me bring the bishop. Finally, I finished development. Now I'm trying to fight for d5, but let me put more pressure on f6 first. All right, this knight doesn't look like it's doing anything good. Mm, knight d5, take takes, doesn't bring anything good. Now if I do knight d5 and he takes, then pawn takes and I'm hitting the queen. So what's he gonna do? Taking is not an option. No, he's attacking me. All right, so time to just go. Hmm. All right, have to be careful. Let me go to e2. I don't want to go to f2 because this knight could jump here at some time. I know it's guarded, but I have to be careful for the future. All right, so he's defending well, apparently. Okay, so now it's time to go to d5. And I'm hitting c7, so he's probably gonna go pawn to c6. Mm, let me see. Nope. Okay, so maybe we could do something about this. Let's start putting pressure. That knight has to go to. Hmm, do I have something here? I think so. Okay, I th I'm thinking of knight takes c7 and then d5. But he's taking on b2. No, that's okay, it works. So I sacrifice, this is a combination, I sacrifice my knight, and now I get a knight fork. So he needs to move back, I take. Yep, Ooh, okay, good. And then let's do c3, just to block this bishop. Mm -hmm. Nope, well, let's do c3 anyways. I really wanna put pressure on d6, especially since my pawn is not letting him go to d5. But let's see, queen d2 seems like a good move. I'm putting pressure on d6 and I'm putting pressure on h6. Okay guys, so I have 58 seconds, but that should be enough to finish the game. All right, he dropped the pawn. We didn't have to do much about it. Okay, let's go back. I don't like this pressure on my diagonal. Now let's double up. So this knight should be, yeah, I knew that was happening. Hmm, well, let's do this. I want to do rook h4, queen h6, and then checkmate. Hmm, he knows it. Okay, so let's double up. I have the feeling he's going to go to h8. Well, let me do queen d4. Pinning the knight. I really want to do this. I want to make this work, but I don't know if he's going to let me. Um, I have to be very, very careful. You have done rook h4. Well, Maybe not. Maybe this was the way to go. I'm taking d6 next. 
Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's take on d6, hitting the rook, hitting the knight, hitting a lot of things, but I have to play fast. Let me see. Oof, can I take? Nope, can I take? Huh. Well, it looks like I have to go the way back. Well, if I have to go back, I want to trade queens. I don't want him to go down and get me in trouble. Yeah. Now, this knight is really annoying here, so we have to do something about it. Well, we're walking into an endgame. If I'm winning, I'm happy to go to the endgame. Okay, seventh rank. Okay, get out of here. He has to go back. Oh, and then I get something there, but no, nope, he's not going back. Well, I think we're gonna get, oh man, this guy, that not, oops, 19 seconds. This is getting real. Yep. I think I'm getting that pawn. He's thinking too much now, and he doesn't have time for that. Okay. Oof, if I go here, he does a discovered attack, so good call. Just push pawns, push pawns, push pawns. So I'm pre-moving because I don't have much time. Seventh rank, a5, okay, keeping it simple. Ooh, we're going, and he ran out of time. This was an intense game, nice. All right, new three minute game, and we already have 14.07, wow. Okay, so I got the black pieces again, I mean, the white pieces again, I'm going to do the bird opening. Bird opening, guys, is going to be the same move order every time and just like the other openings we have the fianchetto and also it doesn't really matter the move order if you mess up the move order it shouldn't get you in trouble you just need to know where your pieces go so memorize this fianchetto pawn f4 and that goes to f3 then something that i like to do here is fight for the e5 square you see i eliminated that defender and now i could go knight e5 so that's going to be a very nice knight next i want to do knight d2 knight f3 See, I'm getting ready to do that maneuver with the knight. All right, so let's bring it over. And then now, finally, when I have my pieces set up, my binary pieces, this queen, for the most part, I like to bring it to e1 and then come over, you see? Now, if he doesn't do something about it, I'm gonna go knight d7 and then checkmate, because this Fincero bishop is really, really good. Now he's doing something about it, but I think I can take advantage of that. So I get a knight. Um, if he takes here, well, he loses the bishop for free because I'm pinning the g7 pawn. So most likely he's going to take on b2. Yep. Mm, I take the rook. He takes the rook. I take the bishop and he takes a knight. So fair trade for the most part. And my knight goes back to that square that I told you about. Okay, so we knew that. Let me bring my rook. Back to this file. Sometimes the rook does, does the rook um, the rook lift, so I go rook f3 and then bring it over. But let's see. Now I'm threatening to take on f6. Oh, he fell for it. He fell for it. He fell for it. Yep. So what's he going to do next? Hmm. Oh, it almost works. It almost works. I wanted to do queen h4. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. No, no, no. Let's keep it simple. Let me just go back here. So I'm threatening checkmate. Now, in the meantime, let me see if I can again. Uh, okay, board, something, importance, piece notation, animation, move method, drag pieces. Okay, pride button. Oh, okay, this is what I needed. Come on, I didn't see that before. All right, so I gotta go back here. Okay, if I go here, no, no, no. Keep it simple. Let's go back to safety. Now I have nothing to risk here. Um, yep. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm winning already by a pawn, and I want to get to the end game. That's all. If I'm winning, I want to either attack my opponent's king or simplify the game. So this is a good opportunity to simplify the game. Now we're going to simplify rooks. No, he doesn't want to simplify rooks. Well, oh man. Yep. Yeah, let's do it. Oof, pass pawn. So that was a huge mistake he, he made there. Mm. Well, let me go in there. I need to activate my king now. Yep. That's it. He had the opportunity to get to my pawn first, I think. 
Now, uh, if I can, his bishop is a light square bishop, I want to put my pawns on dark squares. And at the same time, I want to push. I have two pass pawns. So this should be pretty easy. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes h6 to do g5. No, he, he cannot even do that because this pawn falls. But anyways, let's stop him from doing it. All of my pawns going to dark squares. That way the bishop cannot bother them. See, dark squares. And then when I leave his, la his pawns on light squares, his bishop cannot, I mean, his bishop gets really bad. Uh, okay, so I'm pushing my pass pawns. I should have done it uh, maybe before, but I wanted to make sure that he wouldn't have any counterplay. Okay, can I do check, check? No. Mm, let me activate, ooh, no, I cannot activate the knight. Let's see. Okay, so he made a mistake there. We get a free bishop. Yep, this is going to be an easy end game now. Oh, okay, so 16. Let's see. New game. All right, guys, if you saw the first video, okay, my perk first came with the black pieces. If you saw the first video, um, you could see that I was playing my games really fast. The games ended uh, quickly, but it's not the case anymore. So. These guys are giving me a hard time, and I have to really concentrate if I want to, to win my games. So we know the setup for this one as well. You should be familiar with it. Just like in the bird, we're going to have our pieces go to the same squares for the most part. So it's not about the move order. It's more about where the pieces go. All right, so my knight goes to d4. See, there's always a key square that I'm looking for. Now, by no means I want to take here. That bishop is really bad. Let me just put pressure on this g5 bishop who is pinning me. Hmm, is that a free bishop? Yep, didn't see it. All right, my friend. If he takes, I'm going to take... No, maybe I take with the queen. Okay, he didn't take, so... Mm, well, take, take, no, nope, not a good idea. Oh, yeah, maybe yes. Did he give up? No, he didn't give up. I thought he had given up. All right, so I'm taking there, because remember, if I'm winning, I'm happy to simplify the game. Now, this knight, I don't like him, so c6, yeah, c6 is coming. Get out of here, and let's, oh, let me activate my queen first. I want to do h5 to get, get his queen out of here, too. Do I take? Well, let's do it. All right. Now, that queen is tied up to the defense of h4. So, yeah. I knew he had to do that. Let's put, let's put more pressure on f4 now. I typically don't play the perk like this, but this guy is not cooperating. So, let me see. Bishop takes. Okay, so, I can take the pawn. I don't like the pin, but I think it should be fine. I'm fine because even though I have a pin, if I wanted to get out of it, I could just take with a check. All right, this one I think is going to be checkmate on h2 if he doesn't do anything. Oh, check, not checkmate. Check in f2. Then my knight could go. No, my knight cannot go there. Oh, I see it. This is the checkmate. Oof, I almost missed this. Check. Oh, oh, no, doesn't work. Made a mistake. Hmm, I cannot do the discover check because he takes my queen. Come on, how did I get into this? Well, let's try this. Let's try this. So I, I think I'm not losing material anyways, but I'm prolonging the game and that, that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> All right, so simple end game. Let me go back to safety. I'm winning by a piece and pawns. He's trying to get some counterplay, but honestly, he doesn't have the queen now, so it's not going to be that easy for him. Yeah, he's coming with the knight. Um, let me try to create... Let me activate my pieces. I don't like this move that much, because I'm sort of leaving my rook with no options, but it's going to be momentary. All right, friend, let's get... Let's get these pieces traded, these rooks. Or maybe he doesn't. Nope, I knew he was not going to. 
no, I activate my rook. I should have gone to the seventh rank, maybe, but I just want to activate and start putting pressure on the knight. Right? Ooh, no, we're not going to simplify. We're going to pin the knight. And I knew I was not going to get much out of it, but at least I simplified not only the knight, but also the rook. Now, rook to the open file. Maybe I get to the seventh rank. Well, he didn't let me, but I'm going to put pressure on this guy. And then this guy. And then this guy. And something is going to fall. My bishop is not letting him, letting him go to b2. Yeah, now this is easy peasy. Let's go. Yeah, next one. So 1424. Uh, okay, I think Vienna. Okay, he's doing the Scandinavian. And I'm just going to follow my Fianchero line. So. Okay, that's fine. I'm hitting b7 and he doesn't care. So give me that pawn and then the rook. All right, so I wouldn't be surprised if he goes check. No, he's not going check. So we get the rook. Now, Automatically, guys, I'm winning by six points, rook and a pawn. So I'm going to use that extra piece to attack the king or simplify the game. Now I'm hitting the bishop, hitting the knight along with the bishop. Hmm, he knows it, so that's okay. Uh, let me keep developing. Hmm, I made a mistake there. I should have done, I should have done rook b1 first. Now I'm threatening to take the knight and do this uncomfortable check. So e4 is coming, no, e4 is not coming. Oh, he gave up, so even better. Okay, so now we have the bird. Mm, this is gonna be interesting, because this time he's doing the finchero before I do it. So let's see what we get out of it. Now this bishop before I put it on b5, but now it doesn't make sense, so he just goes to e2. Now let's do the finchero. Hopefully he doesn't do a discovered attack, because it could be uncomfortable. No, he didn't do it. If he had done it, we could just block it with d4, c3. I don't think he could have attacked anything. So I have my bishop. Now, queen e1. Uh, we talked about how that's a common uh, maneuver with the, with the queen. Um, d3. And this knight, we know he almost never goes to c3. He goes to d2. No, take, take. I cannot let that happen. Mm. Let's see. All right, so this is a little bit different. This pawn is uh, isolated. Um, I don't, yeah, that's a weakness. He's putting pressure on it, but that's okay. Let's put some pressure on you, my friend. Hmm, let me see, how do we do this? Bishop c4, if he takes only three with the rook. No, I don't have anything, so I have to do this move. Hmm, yeah, let's do it. So I'm putting pressure on f7, so he needs to do something before he takes on e3. No, he didn't care. He says he doesn't care. Okay, now, oh man, do I have a nice combination here. So I'm thinking of just taking the knight, that's a free piece, but look at this discovery. This is why I like the Fianchero bishop so much. So I could do knight e6, or I could take first. It's more forcing. So queen g7, king takes, knight e6. If he goes down, I don't have that checkmate. Oh wait, queen takes, king takes, knight f5, double check. The king has to go to g8 and checkmate. But what if he goes out to f7 or f8? <laughs> Do I have the checkmate? It's gonna be take, take. No, it's not gonna work. Mm. Okay, what if I go 96, attacking the queen? Hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, maybe you already saw what I should do here. But I'm thinking now, queen g7, 96. Now the king goes to g8, I don't have anything. So queen g7, knight f5, king goes to f7. No, I don't have anything forcing, so I think we're going to have to do 96 right away. So if he takes a knight, 
I do checkmate on g7 with the with the queen or the bishop. Oh yeah, he did it. So checkmate. Now, if he had done, let me go back here. If he had done, uh, if he had moved the queen here, then it's the same thing. So I guess he was done anyways. All right, next game. So new three minutes. We need 60 more points. Now our bur our perk is coming in. Ooh. I don't want to be greedy, but I'm going to even get this pawn. Okay, if we had done queen f3, we go back. Now, I'm winning. Simplify the game. Ooh, did I miss anything here? No. All right, that should be fine. I'm developing. And I'm going to castle by foot. Yeah, now when I put my king on g8, it's like I... Hmm. What are you trying to do, man? What are you trying to do? Hmm. <laughs> well, let me try to simplify the queens. Now he's he started an attack that is not really there. He didn't have pieces developed to get me in trouble right away. So I have plenty of time to just oof and now he simplified the queens. Forget about the attack. This is a very comfortable end game with an extra piece. Where is this knight gonna go now? Well, he's going to do that first. Okay. Respect. And let me go back to here. Yeah, so he's going to develop now. Well, let me be proactive and make sure that this knight cannot go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that was coming. Hitting on d4. Okay. Let's see. Do you want to simplify the knight? Yep. Yeah. Very easy. Very, very easy. Nope, you cannot come down here. Seventh rank. Hmm. I don't need to chop those pawns off yet. So the idea of simplification, guys, again, is that now if I simplify my rooks for his rooks, I'm going to end up with an extra knight uh, for free there. So, And that knight is going to take care of the rest of the game. Okay, so he's hoping that I take and then he could do this, but I don't think it really matters, so let's do it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep pushing the pawn. If rook is seven, mm, I see what you want to do. If rook is seven, then rook f7 and stops everything. Okay, whatever you're trying to do here, it's not going to take you anywhere. Hmm. See, this is a. I mean, it's not gonna do anything, but this counterplay of him taking on b7, it shouldn't be allowed. Uh, okay, I think I have check. If you go to h1, it's rook h2 checkmate. If he goes to f1, like he did, I might have a nice discovered. Uh, let me just do checkmate here. So now I could take and checkmate. Yep, I knew that was coming, but now what? He needs to take care of the rook, and checkmate is still in the air. So check, check. All right, next one. So we're getting off, already got 48. Another perk. Hmm, is he going to do the same thing? Nah. Well, let me pre move just in case. No, he didn't do it, but he gave me the free pawn. So remember, that knight comes to f6 to put pressure on the pawn, so he typically should respond with knight c3. All right, so now I could do d5, and it's, I think, more energetic, but to keep it consistent, let me just go back to do the fincero, and you see what we are um, trying to do, to do. All right. 
yeah, he wanted to do it. Now, I don't think, again, he has enough pieces to uh, continue with the attack. But let's see, maybe he saw something that we didn't see. See, now I just need to keep him away from my king. And as soon as I can, I'm going to kick this knight out. Mm -hmm. oh, let me do... Yeah, let me kick you out of here. No, but he's going to go knight e6. That's okay. I don't think he has anything. If he goes to e6, I take with the bishop. No, he didn't. Okay, fair enough. Let me continue to develop my pieces. You see, he sacrificed the pieces and he he, does, he doesn't have time to come and attack. Uh, okay, bishop f5. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so now time to kick you out again. Yeah, that's okay. Now he's gonna go rookie one probably. Yep, we knew that was coming. Uh, I get knight castle. Hmm, let me see. Oh, my knight is protecting e7, so I'm not concerned. But. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, I don't want that knight to go to b5. It just cannot happen. And now I'm planning, guys, to keep it simple. I'm, I'm winning by a piece. I'm going to castle by foot. So yeah, he did that move. That's okay. Okay, let me take this opportunity to simplify the game. One, let if that's this one less piece is going to use to attack me, and the less pieces he has, the simpler it will be. Now look, who to who tells me that I didn't castle queenside? So that's what we call castling by foot. It's longer but it works. All right, now I have three pieces attacking d4. I think we should start with bishop takes. I'm hitting on f2 next. Yep, he knows it. So let's keep putting pressure on f2. Okay, so now what about this? <laughs> All right. Now I'm trying to bring the other rook into the game. Alright, that knight, can he attack anything? No, nope. maybe he wants to go to e3. Ah, that would be interesting. Well, yep, we knew he was doing that. So now let's do... Mm. Oh, not good enough. Let me go queen e5 maybe. Pin in the knight. So now I'm pinning it, and I cannot go anywhere. He has this check, but I don't think it's going to get him much. Let's see. And as you can see, we get really uh, comfortable games. Like here, our, queen, our king was a little bit in trouble, but only because he sacrificed a piece. So it was just very simple for us to continue. All right, so. Again, I'm winning by a piece, that's why I'm trying so much to simplify the game. Well, that's it. Now, just keeping an eye on this guy. Okay, let's go to a seventh rank. I have one, two, three pieces. Oops, no, three pieces hitting F2, and he doesn't care. Now, this is going to allow me to do a discover check and get the rook, unless he moves away, like he did. All right, mister, let's kick you out of here. That knight has to be traded. There's no other way around it, I think. Ooh, what is this? Okay, I could take either one, but I could also do check, then check, but that's not good enough, so. Okay. Nothing else. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. 
Okay, now I have almost checkmate. Well, let's try to do something fun here. He has to move the pawns. Uh, can I do something with it? Well, let me just put pressure. I wanted to do something else, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna lose some time. <laughs> oh man, this shouldn't have happened. I don't feel proud of this. All right, he ran out of time. I mean, it was a winning game. It shouldn't have come down to this. Not nice. That was not nice. All right, another perk. You know the drill, guys. Uh, he needs to protect on e4. He did. So we continue with the Finchetto. And then we castle. Or maybe not. Let's see. All right, so this could be an indication that he's going to. No, he's not going to. So bishop goes to g4. You don't have to do the bishop g4 plan. But I just find it more practical. I see six. Oh, now he's attacking. Okay, fair enough. Now let's see if this works. I wanted to do in the I wanted to do it in the last video, but they didn't give him the opportunity. No, he's not giving him the opportunity. <laughs> well, let me try this plan. Okay, I already know he's committed to attacking on this side. When that happens, you need to strike the center and go after the king. Um, so let's do it. I think we're going to have to strike the center. He didn't mind that. Okay, so now uh, knight f3 is in the air, and that's going to be really uncomfortable. But nope, he has, he has a plan. Mm, well, let's take here. And... Now let's put pressure. So you see, uh, I don't think he has anything strong to attack my king. And now I'm going to start putting pressure on his pieces, on his territory. Ooh, he made a mistake. Okay, so now I take here. He needs to take with the pawn. He didn't care. Ooh, this is going to be bad. Now, normally I would just simplify the game. I'm winning by a piece. But remember, if you up a piece, you should simplify the game makes it easy. But you could also use that extra piece to attack the king. And in this case, I have this open file. But before I do that, let me take this one. And that's going to also prevent the king from going to b1. Yeah. Check. The knight's going to go back. And now do I have a tactic here? Could take. No. Hmm. Take, take has to be something here okay check he goes here no rook c3 check if the queen takes that's easy we just go bishop h6 and then rook f2 he's done but if rook takes pawn takes do i have anything yep i have bishop h6 queen takes and then rook f2 and he's done so let's do it That's going to be way easier. Now he needs to block. Oops, sorry. He needs to block and then, yep, now he's done. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if he gives up. I don't think he has anything here. Yeah, now it says he disconnected. So I guess we're going to have to wait for a few a few seconds. Um, let's see. All right, guys, so next I should have the, the white pieces, I think. Yeah, so he he's done. Fifth, we have 64, 36 more points to go. Okay, white pieces. I think we have to do the Vienna, I believe. So I see three. And you know what? 
typically I just do bishop g2, but I have to do this move anyways. I told you that the move order doesn't really matter. And I want to do it because if he takes me, I could just take with the knight. I don't have to double up my pawns. So let's take. Well, he made me double up the pawns, but now I have my pair of bishops on the board. So and whenever I get this double tap pawn, I also get a semi-open file, which should give him a hard time at some point. So let's see what he's going to do next. All right. I could always do d4, but uh, I typically do d3 and it works fine. So. But it's actually a matter of taste. All right. So that's a waste of a move. I know he gets my pawn to move, but now he needs to go back, I think. Ooh, come on. Yeah, now I wouldn't be surprised if he gives up. Yep, next. We got 72. No, nope, not the same person. Someone new. All right, bird time. Okay, so he's playing his Sicilian setup. So, look, this time I'm not doing e3 first. I did the Franchero first. My bishop goes to b5. It makes sense because the knight is there to be pinned. Here you could have also done bishop e2. It's just a matter of taste. You see, fighting for e5. Ooh, he didn't do anything to protect it. Okay, we go back. Mm hmm. <laughs> what is he trying to do? Well, let me just cast. Again, I'm winning. Simplification makes a lot of sense, but I like that bishop on e5. Now, if he castles... No, he didn't castle. Now, this knight, you should know, guys, it goes to d2, f3, e5. But I like this square for the knight. So it's temporary, just going to the, to the edge, which is not good, but it's temporary. I'm going to c4 next. And then from c4, I see I could go to d6. If he doesn't castle, let's see. Oh, maybe he wants to do queen c6, trying to do a battery. Yeah, he's going to do it. I knew he was going to do it. Well, mm. uh oh, made a mistake. Nope, he didn't take advantage of it. So let's bring the queen up. Mm -hmm. So we have to. Now he's forced to do rook e8, or I take on e6. Nope, he didn't hear me. And now let's just get rid of this uh, battery. And we're going to do it by attacking that queen. And yeah, give me that. Then let's take this pawn. Okay, so now all of my pieces are active and he made a huge mistake. He didn't see the battery. That's a checkmate. Okay, so this is going to be checkmate on the next one. And we got to 81. Come on, 90 more points. Okay, we know the, the, the perk. And by the way, it could be the King's Indian defense if they played the Queen's Pawn opening by doing d4 and c4, but. Mm, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna do the same plan. It's working out. Why change it now? E5. There you go. In the in the perk, you need to do E5. Sooner or later, you have to do it. Ooh. In between move, if I just take, he he takes my bishop. All right, my friend. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's hitting e4, I mean e5, so I need to protect it. Oh, bishop g5 might be might be coming. Yep. No, let's not pin. Let's not pin the knight. Nope. Okay, so now battery, putting pressure on d3, that's a weak square. He's protecting it. Okay, let's see how much you want that bishop. He doesn't really mind. The bishop. Okay, so now let's play a little bit crazy. F5. 
f5, f5, then knight h4, it should be fine. If he takes on f5, um, it's customer. I mean, you could you could think of taking with a rook and then king h7. Well, he didn't, so let me just. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> let me just do king h7. You know what? Okay, he's really hoping that I open that file, but that's not gonna happen. And now it's a little bit risky. Yeah, yeah, that was coming. But I don't think he has enough pieces to get me in trouble. What is he trying to do? He's trying to go to f5. Okay, 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 okay. Well, let's put pressure on, on that weak pawn. So a weak pawn, an isolated pawn is a pawn that has no, uh, no other pawn to defend him. So he needs to be defended by pieces, yeah? And you're sort of pinned, you need, you need to go to b3. <laughs> yeah, he's, I think he hasn't found b3 yet. No, he didn't find it. So that gives us a free rook. Okay. Now again, we'll up a piece, this should be a very easy uh, game to finish. I have my rook on the seventh rank to make things worse for him. Hmm, okay. Do we do f3? Nah. This queen, where can you go? I don't see anything dangerous. Okay, so... Okay, now we do f3. There's no checks, nothing that he's attacking. Now I'm hitting, I uh, threaten to do f2, if he takes my pawn, I go queen h2 and then checkmate. Hmm, well, this is going to be checkmate, well, let me see. Check, or should I do this check? Yeah. Alright, so that's, no, not the same person. We got 1490, so if we get 10 points on the next game, we're done. No, we're not going to get 10 points. So, our perk, one more time, and I think our last game is going to be the it's gonna be the the Vienna yeah it's gonna be the Vienna mm -hmm. castle no we need to take first and then I see six now let's do this other plan that I really like f5 f4 no, he knows it. So he, you see, whenever you're being attacked on the flanks, you're supposed to strike the center. So he saw my attack coming, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's striking the center. So maybe we don't do that plan. Maybe not yet. At least his bishop is gone. And now let's put pressure on the pin pawn. If he takes my pawn, he loses the pawn and the rook. Hmm, interesting. See, he's trying to come here, but then rook b8, rook b2. No, he's not going to d2, he's going to d4. Okay, so now with the queens of the board, um, I know I'm only up a pawn, and my pawn structure is not really good, but I think I'm, I could have some some advantages here. Um, this knight, okay, he's taking b7, take takes. Hmm. Yeah, maybe taking the uh, trading queens was not it was not the best time to do that. Okay, so how do we continue? That knight is about to get really active if he gets to d5, so I might have to do knight f6 to improve my own knight and drop in this pawn. That's okay. If I take, it's not going to be any better. So let's do it. And this is pretty much an open position, so the bishop is going to be better than the knight. 
So I have to keep that in mind. Now this pawn is not as important as activating my pieces and that's what I need to do right now. There you go. So knight b5. Oh, oh yeah, I should have done rook c7. No, I didn't do it. Have to be careful if I go rook takes, he's going to do bishop d5 and my rook has to move, he gets my bishop. So let me just keep it simple. Now opposite color bishop are typically a draw, but they could also be an advantage for the player who is attacking. So if you get to a dead end game, yes, it's gonna be a draw. But if you start putting pressure and you attack, they could be uh, really good because you're attacking with an extra piece since they don't have any bishop to, to match your own bishop's attack. So let me put pressure on f2. And let's see what he's going to do. Okay, he doesn't really mind it right now. That's what he's telling me. I'm going to bring the other rook. All right. Now my bishop protects my weak pawns. And he's not going to be able to take it. Yeah, he's really concerned about that. Well, let me just bring my king to a dark square. His bishop cannot bother me. I need to start hearing, uh, playing faster because I have 46 seconds and there's no increment. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Maybe I have to go down next. Mm, rookie 3 seems good. Yeah, I'm thinking of rookie three, check, followed by g5. And then when I take, let's give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, that was a good one. Mm, no, he could, no, he could get me in trouble. If I had done this move like I wanted to do, he could have skewered me. Now I got a fork. 26 seconds to finish the whole thing. All right, so we gotta do good here. All right, so he's banking on the fact that opposite color bishops are, are a draw, but I have a lot of extra pawns here, so that's not going to apply. Okay, let's go. And I have my pass pawns ready to be pushed. Okay. No, nope, he's not gonna get that pawn. Okay, if I get to G2, no, he didn't let me get to G2. All right, another pawn. 15 seconds. Now all of my pieces are on dark squares, so his bishop cannot bother my pieces. Whoop. All right, we have 1498. We're gonna, remember, I wanted to get to 1500, so I'm gonna do my last game. Maybe I get the, the white pieces, and then I finish with, with the Vienna. All right, so e4. Nope. Hmm. A lot of people playing the Scandinavian, and this is the main line. But I'm going to keep it consistent. All right, maybe not. So knight e2. My knight has to go to e2 anyway, so. All right, he's happy to put pressure on it. Uh, I have uh, enough defenders, so it should be fine. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to simplify queens for two reasons. Um, I think his queen is really bad here, blocking his bishop. So if I trade that queen, I'll be doing him a favor. But also, um, I want to see you guys. Um, I want you guys to see how the middle game turns out in this position. So I mean, in, from this opening. Okay, he doesn't mind about my discovered check. What can I do with it? Nothing. Maybe that's why he doesn't care. All right, let's try it. So discovered attack. Maybe he. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
All right, so what do we go next with you, my friend? Well, let's go to F3 and then to E5. That sounds pretty good. So he keeps wasting time with his queen. I'm improving my pieces at the expense of his, uh, his queen. All right, so let's keep it consistent. Oh, no, you know what? Let's keep bothering that, that queen. If he goes to c5, then I could do d4, controlling the center at the expense of the queen. Nope, he's going back. Okay, he's tired of being annoyed. All right, what do we have here? If I take... Okay, if I take, he needs to take with the queen. If he takes with the bishop to develop, I get this guy. Yeah, so now that queen is still in a very bad square. Um, okay, finally I develop my, my bishop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My rook is active. Let me just do b3. I just want to clear this diagonal because that bishop could be a little bit annoying. Um, all right, so let me bother you a little bit. No, I'm not going to bother you. All right, not only am I doing a discovered attack, I'm putting pressure already on e6. If he takes, I'm happy to take with the bishop, I think. Yes, should I take with the bishop? He's going to do c6, and I move away, takes, takes. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. <laughs> So now what I calculated is that if he takes, I take, he takes, yeah, I take back with the rook, I'm going to be throwing this check and I'm going to be throwing in this pawn. So he simplified the game, but he's, I don't know, let's take the pawn. He could take my rook, but then I take his. Now, I did not calculate, well, doesn't matter. I didn't calculate much uh, what could happen if he went rook a8 before, but I could have done a 3, I think, which should be fine. All right, end game. What is he trying to do in this end game? He's gonna try to go to here and then here. Okay, fair enough. Now, this is gonna be a tricky end game because we have bishops, and they could be tricky. If I could activate my king, that would be nice. But he's going to bother me a little bit, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if we simplify, my friend? I'm winning by a pawn. That's enough reason for me to simplify the game. Yeah, and now my king gets closer to the center. Let's go, and let's go. Ooh, yeah, interesting. Okay, now his bishop is a dark square bishop. I want to put my pawns on light squares. Ooh, I made a mistake. I was gonna say I'm going to push my pawns to get a pass pawn, but I dropped it. That was a silly mistake. Okay, let's continue by putting my pawns on light squares. That wasn't cool. You have done bishop f8. But that's the past. Oh, he's making a mistake. I checkmated myself. Yeah, I checkmated myself. Ooh, man, I was so close. So, all right, near three minutes. Oh man, I was about to be done. Okay, let's do our bird. We need 12 points and we're gonna get seven. All right. All right, let's see. So, yeah, that was expected. Now my knight is gonna go to d2, f3. Mm -hmm. Let me see. All right, now f5 is a possibility. Let's see what he's gonna do next. Hmm. Okay, so he's happy to do that. Let me just go queen f2, 
bring my root to the open file. F5 is still in the air, but there's no rush. Okay. So I'm opening my queen to defend d2. Is it going to do f5? Maybe. Then I go bishop f3. No, he's not. Who said that he was going to do that? Now f5. I think I'm doing f5 soon. Just to sort of open up his king. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can we do something about you? Hmm. A3, queen takes, rook a1, he takes this pawn, rook takes, hitting the bishop. Yeah, let's keep it simple. Let's go f5, just to make his position a little bit unstable. Taking would just open up his king. So let's see what he's going to do. Okay, he didn't take, so uh, uh, wait. Let me do this first. Because the thing is, if I take right now, he takes back with the f pawn, he opens up his rook. But if his rook isn't there, then I'm not concerned anymore. Yep, so let's open it. Is there any beautiful tactic here with this battery? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm, wait, if I take, he takes queen f7, check, I get the rook. Ooh, he gets my knight. Wait, wait, let's calculate this. So bishop takes, knight takes, queen f7. If he goes to h8, perfect, because I take with a check. Oh, but I'm hitting the bishop too. Yeah, this is it. <clears throat> so he go to h6, but not only is his king really out there to be checkmated, but I'm going to be hitting the, the bishop, and then I could go to h3, check. So I think this is a nice tactic. And if he doesn't take the bishop, he needs to do something about this knight anyways. Yes, he did something about that knight anyways. <laughs> okay, so he's telling me let's simplify, and I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm doing this move not because I don't want to keep my bishop. I really want my bishop in this position, but I cannot allow his rook to go to the seventh rank. <laughs> okay, he wants to go to e3. I understand. c4. Oh, let's do this. This is going to be probably his move. And then I go to d6. Yep. So I'm hitting so many things. And. Hmm. Check. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's cool. That's okay. <laughs> if my rook wasn't here, I could do this move, but it is there. I cannot even protect the knight. Okay, guys, we cannot waste time. What do we do? What do we do? Taking this pawn. Let's just take the knight. That's all we have. I mean, let's just take the pawn. So I keep my knight anyways. Now I don't really, I really don't like this one. So get away from the attack. All right, let's do this. Mm, I could take a free pawn, but let me actually do this. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's keep you out of here. Yeah, I'm hitting the knight. So he's probably gonna put me in check, okay. But now what? I'm hitting that knight. He could defend it. No, nope, he's not gonna defend it.
yeah we got this game okay back to 1495 if we win the next game we should get the black pieces this is the perk um, we're gonna make it to 1500 okay so this is gonna be a well it's gonna be a perk okay this is a silly mistake here whenever they do e5 that's a mistake we have a forced variation here to get one of these two pawns <laughs> Should I get the free pawn? You know what? I'm not gonna get the free pawn. I'm gonna mess up his pawn structure and that pawn is gonna be taken anyways. Yeah, so pinned, I'm threatening to take. What should I do? Castle first. Uh, let me take, then castle with a check, and then I take. Mm -hmm. Ready to do rook d2, I'm hitting d2, check, check, let's do it. Now, he could still stay here, he didn't stay there, he could have hit in my, my rook and my, my knight, but I could have done bishop b4. And, all right. If he takes a rook, I take back. All right, I have to be extra careful. Okay, now I'm winning, so I'm happy to simplify the game. I finally develop my bishop. Finally develop my rook. And all right, so I'm doing this move because I want to do b5 to kick him out, but I, I didn't want him to go to um to go to e5. Now, if I go to b5, where can he go? He could go to b2. Okay, and then. I go rook to 2, 7th rank. Yeah, that we knew was going to happen. So... Alright, he dropped it, and back to 7th rank. I wouldn't be surprised if he gives up, guys. I don't think he has any way, any counterplay. It's an end game, but he's gonna keep fighting. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I take, okay, wait, if I take, he takes. Okay, let me do this move first. I attack and protect. I could still take, but then he's gonna take on. Right, that's okay, not a big deal. Staying away, of, staying away, of, away from trouble. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to come around and get that pawn. So, what can we do about that? Well, I'm not even gonna worry about. It. I have checkmate in two moves. If I go here, that's checkmate. Yep. Checkmate. All right, guys, so we made it to uh, 1503. As you could see, uh, it wasn't as easy as, as bringing this account from 400 to 1400, but we made it work with these simple systems. The, uh, this time we used the Vienna and the, and the perk, but also the, the bird opening. So if you have any question, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to, to answer them. So I'll see you next in the next video, and I'm going to try to get this account from 1500 to 1600 or maybe higher. So I'll see you next time.